The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a flash flood warning for. This is the National Weather Service in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio Public Warning System. During potentially dangerous weather situations, a tone alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Three steps in of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability would normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter even though you are using a high quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warning for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado. Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch 611 in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following areas. In Colorado, this watch includes 10 counties in East Central Colorado, Elbert, in North Central Colorado, Larimer, in Northeast Colorado, Adams, Arapaho, Boulder, Broomfield, Denver, Douglas, Jefferson, Weld. This includes the cities of Bennett, Boulder, Broomfield, Byers, Castle Rock, Denver, Fort Collins, Golden, Greeley, and Kiowa. Primary threats include scattered large hail and isolated very large hail events to 2 inches in diameter possible isolated damaging wind gusts to 70 miles an hour possible. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe thunderstorms can and occasionally do produce tornadoes. Time for the following areas. In Colorado, this watch includes 10 counties in East Central Colorado, Elbert, in North Central Colorado, Larimer, in Northeast Colorado, Adams, Arapaho, Boulder, Broomfield, Denver, Douglas, Jefferson, Weld. This includes the cities of Bennett, Boulder, Broomfield, Byers, Castle Rock, Denver, Fort Collins, Golden, Greeley, and Kiowa. Primary threats include scattered large hail and isolated very large hail events to 2 inches in diameter possible isolated damaging wind gusts to 70 miles an hour possible. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe thunderstorms can and occasionally do produce tornadoes. Here is the fourth. National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Denver County in northeastern Colorado until 6.45 p.m. At 6.02 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over northeastern Denver, moving west at 5 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Denver and Southwestern Commerce City. Precautionary preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
This storm will also produce very heavy rain. Do not attempt to drive through flooded roads. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado, South Central Denver County in northeastern Colorado, until 7.15 p.m. At 6.34 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Western Aurora, or 8 miles southeast of Denver, moving northwest at 5 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Denver, Aurora, Eastern Centennial, Greenwood Village, Arapahoe Park, and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. So you were thunderstorm warning for Western Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado, South Central Denver County in northeastern Colorado until 7.15 p.m. At 6.34 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Western Aurora, or 8 miles southeast of Denver, moving northwest at 5 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Denver, Aurora, Eastern Centennial, Greenwood Village, Arapahoe Park, and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm, and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a flash flood warning for Western Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado, Denver County in northeastern Colorado, northeastern Jefferson County, southwestern Adams County in northeastern Colorado, until 9.45 p.m. At 6.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated thunderstorms producing very heavy rain across the warned area. The storms are nearly stationary over the Denver metro area. Up to 1.5 inches of rain has already fallen. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Denver, Aurora, Lakewood, southeastern Arvada, southern Westminster, Centennial, northeastern Highlands Ranch, southwestern Commerce City, Littleton, Englewood, Wheat Ridge, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, Southwestern Denver International Airport, Sheridan, Arapahoe Park, and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary, preparedness actions, 
Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. Eastern Colorado, Northeastern Jefferson County, Southwestern Adams County in Northeastern Colorado until 9.45 p.m. At 6.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar and automated ring gauges indicated thunderstorms producing very heavy rain across the Warren area. The storms are nearly stationary over the Denver metro area. Up to 1.5 inches of rain has already fallen. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Denver, Aurora, Lakewood, southeastern Nevada, southern Westminster, Centennial, northeastern Highlands Ranch, southwestern Commerce City, Littleton, Englewood, Wheat Ridge, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, southwestern Denver International Airport, Sheridan, Arapaho Park, and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary preparedness actions, excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. The storms are nearly stationary over the Denver metro area. Up to 1.5 inches of rain has already fallen. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Denver, Aurora, Lakewood, southeastern Nevada, southern Westminster, Centennial, northeastern Highlands Ranch, southwestern Commerce City, Littleton, Englewood, Wheat Ridge, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, southwestern Denver International Airport, Sheridan, Arapahoe Park and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary, preparedness actions. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. Colorado, Denver County in northeastern Colorado, northeastern Jefferson County, southwestern Adams County in northeastern Colorado until 9.45 p.m. At 6.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar and automated ring gauges indicated thunderstorms producing very heavy rain across the Warren area. The storms are nearly stationary over the Denver metro area. Up to 1.5 inches of rain has already fallen. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Denver, Aurora, Lakewood, southeastern Nevada, southern Westminster, Centennial, northeastern Highlands Ranch, southwestern Commerce City, Littleton, Englewood, Wheat Ridge, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, southwestern Denver International Airport, Sheridan, Arapahoe Park and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary, preparedness actions, excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. Colorado, Denver County in northeastern Colorado, northeastern Jefferson County, southwestern Adams County in northeastern Colorado until 9.45 p.m. At 6.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar and automated ring gauges indicated thunderstorms producing very heavy rain across the Warren area. The storms are nearly stationary over the Denver metro area. Up to 1.5 inches of rain has already fallen. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Denver, Aurora, Lakewood, southeastern Nevada, southern Westminster, Centennial, northeastern Highlands Ranch, southwestern Commerce City, Littleton, Englewood, Wheat Ridge, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, southwestern Denver International Airport, Sheridan, Arapahoe Park and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary, preparedness actions, excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots.
National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Douglas County in northeastern Colorado until 8.30 p.m. At 7.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Sedalia, or 23 miles south of Denver, moving east at 10 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Castle Rock, Southwestern Parker, Sedalia, Castle Pines and Lou Viers. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. For Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Douglas County in northeastern Colorado until 8.30 p.m. At 7.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Sedalia, or 23 miles south of Denver, moving east at 10 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Castle Rock, Southwestern Parker, Sedalia, Castle Pines and Louviers. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado until 4.30 p.m. At 3.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles west of Riverside Reservoir, or 19 miles east of Greeley, moving northeast at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Barnesville and Riverside Reservoir. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch 613 in effect until 10 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following areas. In Colorado, this watch includes 10 counties in east central Colorado, Elbert, Lincoln, in northeast Colorado, Adams, Arapaho, Logan, Morgan, Phillips, Sedgwick, Washington, Weld. This includes the cities of Akon, Bennett, Byers, Fort Morgan, Greeley, Holyoke, Julesburg, Kiowa, Lyman, and Sterling. Primary threats include scattered damaging wind gusts to 70 miles an hour, possible scattered large hail events to 1.5 inches in diameter, possible a tornado or two, possible remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe thunderstorms can and occasionally do produce tornadoes. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Albert County until 3.15 p.m. At 2.36 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 12 miles east of Kiowa, or 28 miles west of Lemon, moving east at 10 miles an hour. Hazard, ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. 
people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of north central Albert County. Precautionary, preparedness actions, prepare immediately for large hail and deadly cloud to ground lightning. Seek shelter inside a well built structure. Stay away from windows. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Adams County in northeastern Colorado until 4.15 p.m. At 3.23 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Strasburg, or 33 miles east of Denver, moving north at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, golf ball size hail. Source, trained weather spotters. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Bennett and Strasburg. Precautionary, preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The storm is producing large hail. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Albert County until 3.45 p.m. At 3 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles southeast of Kiowa, or 34 miles west of Lemon, moving southeast at 10 miles an hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of central Albert County. Precautionary, preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Albert County until 4.30 p.m. At 3.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles northwest of Rama, or 30 miles west of Lemon, moving southeast at 10 miles an hour. Hazard, golf ball size hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Simula. Precautionary, preparedness actions, the storm is producing large hail. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows.
The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Park County until 7.45 p.m. At 7.16 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 4 miles east of Elevon Mill Canyon Reservoir, or 31 miles west of Colorado Springs, and is nearly stationary. Hazard, ping pong ball size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Elevon Mill Canyon Reservoir. Precautionary, preparedness actions, large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Remember, lightning can strike out to 15 miles from the parent thunderstorm. If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Move to safe shelter now. Do not be caught on the water in the thunderstorm. Weather Service in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA R Hazards Radio Public Warning System. During potentially dangerous weather situations, a toy alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you are using a high quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Gilpin County, east central Clear Creek County, northern Jefferson County, until 2.45 p.m. At 2.02 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Floyd Hill, or 21 miles west of Denver, moving east at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Western Denver, Lakewood, Arvada, Southwestern Westminster, Northern Littleton, Wheat Ridge, Golden, Evergreen, Morrison, Idledale, Blue Valley, White Ranch Open Space, Kittredge, Red Rocks Park, Indian Hills, Brookvale, Bergen Park, and Floyd Hill. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Arapaho County in northeastern Colorado, southwestern Denver County in northeastern Colorado, central Jefferson County, until 3.30 p.m. At 2.44 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Idledale, or 13 miles west of Denver, moving east at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. 
hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include southwestern Denver, Lakewood, southwestern Centennial, northwestern Highlands Ranch, Littleton, Englewood, southern Wheat Ridge, Golden, Greenwood Village, Evergreen, Sheridan, Morrison, Idledale, Tiny Town, Chatfield Reservoir, Kittredge, Red Rocks Park, Indian Hills, Aspen Park and Bergen Park. Precautionary Preparedness Actions For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Douglas County in northeastern Colorado, southwestern Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado, central Jefferson County, until 4.00 p.m. At 3.25 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 5 miles southwest of Chitfield Reservoir, or 18 miles southwest of Denver, moving east at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Centennial, Highlands Ranch, Littleton, Southwestern Englewood, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, Roxborough Park, Chatfield Reservoir, Moviers, Sedalia, South Platte, and Northern Castle Pines. Precautionary, preparedness actions. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Douglas County in northeastern Colorado, Western Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado, South Central Denver County in northeastern Colorado, until 4.45 p.m. At 3.58 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Castle Pines, or 18 miles southeast of Denver, moving east at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Eastern Denver, Aurora, Centennial, Highlands Ranch, Castle Rock, Parker, Eastern Littleton, Greenwood Village, Lone Tree, Larkspur, Perry Park, The Pinery, Louviers, Arapaho Park, Franktown, Buckley Air Force Base, Castle Pines, Sedalia and Greenland. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm, and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Is it? 
National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a flash flood warning for North Central Douglas County in northeastern Colorado, southwestern Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado, until 5.30 p.m. At 4 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Alert rain gauges indicate that up to 1.77 inches of rain has fallen in Centennial in the past 30 minutes with this line of storms. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include southwestern Centennial, northeastern Highlands Ranch, Greenwood Village and Lone Tree. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a tornado warning for Western Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado until 4.45 p.m. At 4.10 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over southwestern Aurora, or 15 miles southeast of Denver, moving northeast at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, expects damage to mobile homes, roofs, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Aurora, Eastern Centennial, Arapahoe Park, and Buckley Air Force Base. Precautionary, preparedness actions, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Oh, 
in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following areas. In Colorado, this watch includes 19 counties in central Colorado, Clear Creek, Gilpin, Park, Summit, in east central Colorado, Elbert, Lincoln, in north central Colorado, Grand, Jackson, Larimer, in northeast Colorado, Adams, Arapaho, Boulder, Broomfield, Denver, Douglas, Jefferson, Morgan, Washington, Weld. This includes the cities of Akon, Bennett, Boulder, Breckenridge, Broomfield, Byers, Castle Rock, Central City, Denver, Fairplay, Fort Collins, Fort Morgan, Georgetown, Golden, Greeley, Hot Sulphur Springs, Kiowa, Lyman, and Walden. Primary threats include scattered damaging wind gusts to 70 miles an hour, possible isolated large hail events to 1.5 inches in diameter, possible remember. A severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe thunderstorms can and occasionally do produce tornadoes.
Western Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado. Southwestern Washington County in northeastern Colorado. Eastern Adams County in northeastern Colorado until 7.15 p.m. At 6.33 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Kersey to Mere Deer Trail, or along a line extending from 10 miles east of Greeley to 29 miles northwest of Lemon, moving east at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour when gusts and quarter size hail. A brief weak land spout tornado is also possible with these line of storms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include, Kersey, Wigglers, Deer Trail, Hoyt, Shamrock, Leader, Weldona, 12 Mile Corner, Jackson Reservoir, Orchard, Attica, Prospect Valley. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado, Eastern Arapahoe County in northeastern Colorado, Western Morgan County in northeastern Colorado, Southwestern Washington County in northeastern Colorado, Eastern Adams County in northeastern Colorado, until 7.15 p.m. At 6.33 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Kersey to Near Deer Trail, or along a line extending from 10 miles east of Greeley to 29 miles northwest of Lemon, moving east at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. A brief weak land spout tornado is also possible with these line of storms. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs siding, and trees. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Kersey, Wiggins, Deer Trail, Hoyt, Shamrock, Leader, Weldona, 12 Mile Corner, Jackson Reservoir, Orchard, Adena, Prospect Valley, Cottonwood Valley, Riverside Reservoir, Last Chance, Goodrich and Rogan. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Weld County in northeastern Colorado until 6.30 p.m. At 5.40 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 4 miles east of Longmont, or 24 miles southwest of Greeley, moving northeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Greeley, Eastern Longmont, Evans, Erie, Firestone, Johnstown, Frederick, Milliken, Berthet, Eaton, Tacono, Mead, Platteville, LaSalle, Kersey, Gilchrist, Milton Reservoir and Lucerne. Precautionary, preparedness actions, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Brief torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm, and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado 
until 7.15 p.m. At 6.24 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Gill, or 9 miles east of Greeley, moving east at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, trained weather spotters. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Eastern Greeley, Galeton, Gill, Briggsdale, and Barnesville. Precautionary, preparedness actions. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. This NOAA weather radio station... for the previous technical difficulties with the weekly tone test. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio public warning system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. The variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you are using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado.
National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch 646 in effect until 10 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following areas. In Colorado, this watch includes six counties in northeast Colorado, Logan, Morgan, Phillips, Sedgwick, Washington, Weld. This includes the cities of Akon, Fort Morgan, Greeley, Holyoke, Julesburg, and Sterling. Primary threats include widespread large hail and isolated very large hail events to 3 inches in diameter likely scattered damaging wind gusts to 70 miles an hour likely a tornado or two possible remember a severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings Severe thunderstorms can and occasionally do produce tornadoes. The National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado. Southeastern Larimer County, Northeastern Boulder County in Northeastern Colorado, until 5.00 p.m. At 4.29 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over northwestern Longmont, or 24 miles south of Fort Collins, moving northeast at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include southwestern Greeley, Longmont, eastern Loveland, Windsor, Firestone, Johnstown, Frederick, Millican, Berthet, Mead, Platteville, Lyons, LaSalle, Gilchrist, and Niwot. Precautionary preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado until 5.45 p.m. At 4.58 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Johnstown, or seven miles southwest of Greeley, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Greeley, Windsor, Evans, Johnstown, Millican, Eaton, Severance, LaSalle, Alt, Purcell, Galton, Gill, Barnesville, and Lucerne. Precautionary, preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Weld County in northeastern Colorado, east central Boulder County in northeastern Colorado, until 6 p.m. At 5.24 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Longmont, or 25 miles southwest of Greeley, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, Radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Longmont, Erie, Firestone, Johnstown, Frederick, Millican, Berthet, Tacono, Mead, Platteville and Gilchrist. Precautionary, preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. National Weather
Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado, northwestern Morgan County in northeastern Colorado, until 6.15 p.m. At 5.44 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles east of Barnesville, or 22 miles east of Greeley, moving northeast at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Locations impacted include Briggsdale, Barnesville, and Coda. Precautionary preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Weld County in northeastern Colorado until 6.45 p.m. At 5.57 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Firestone, or 22 miles southwest of Greeley, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include southeastern Greeley, northeastern Longmont, Evans, Erie, Firestone, Frederick, Fort Lutton, Millican, Tacono, Meade, Platteville, LaSalle, Kersey, Gilchrist, Gill, Barnesville, and Middleton Reservoir. Precautionary, preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado, northwestern Morgan County in northeastern Colorado, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.39 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 9 miles north of Riverside Reservoir to 5 miles southeast of Platteville, or along a line extending from 29 miles northwest of Fort Morgan to 16 miles south of Greeley, moving northeast at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Fort Lupton, Platteville, LaSalle, Kersey, Gill, Jackson Reservoir, Barnesville, Coda, Riverside Reservoir, Milton Reservoir, Goodridge, Orchard, and New Raymer. Precautionary, preparedness actions for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. office in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio public warning system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if there's severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability would normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you're using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado.
against the National Weather Service office in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio Public Warning System. During potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you are using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeast Colorado. National Weather Service office in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio public warning system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. The perception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you're using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado.
This is a high wind warning from the National Weather Service. For the following, in Colorado, Greeley, high wind warning in effect from noon today to 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time this evening. What? Northwest winds 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour expected. Where? Northeast Weld County, Central and South Weld County, Morgan County, Logan County, Washington County, Sedgwick County and Phillips County. When? From noon today to 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time this evening. The following impacts are expected. Strong winds will blow around unsecured objects. Tree limbs could be blown down and a few power outages may result. Travel will be difficult for high-profile vehicles. Strong winds may lead to property damage. Hazardous driving conditions due to powerful cross winds will pose a serious risk for drivers, especially for lightweight and high-profile vehicles. Loose outdoor items should be brought inside or secured properly. This is a high wind warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, the Northern Front Range foothills including Estes Park and Nederland, the Southern Front Range foothills including Idaho Springs and Evergreen, Fort Collins and Boulder in the western suburbs of Denver. High wind warning in effect from 6 a.m. this morning to 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time this evening. What? West winds 35 to 45 miles per hour with gusts up to 75 miles per hour expected. Where? Larimer and Boulder counties between 6,000 and 9,000 feet. Jefferson and West Douglas counties above 6,000 feet. Gilp and Clear Creek slash Northeast Park counties below 9,000 feet. Larimer County below 6,000 feet. Northwest Weld County and Boulder and Jefferson counties below 6,000 feet. West Broomfield County. When? From 6 a.m. this morning to 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time this evening. The following impacts are expected. Strong winds will blow around unsecured objects. Tree limbs could be blown down and a few power outages may result. Travel will be difficult for high-profile vehicles. Strong winds may lead to property damage. Hazardous driving conditions due to powerful cross winds will pose a serious risk for drivers, especially for lightweight and high-profile vehicles. Loose outdoor items should be brought inside or secured properly. This is a winter storm warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, the Southern Front Range foothills including Idaho Springs and Evergreen and Castle Rock. Winter storm warning in effect from 6 p.m. this evening to 8 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Thursday. What? Heavy snow expected. Total snow accumulations of 4 to 8 inches with locally up to 12 inches in the Southern foothills. Where? The Southern Front Range foothills and Castle Rock. When? From 6 p.m. this evening to 8 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Thursday. The following impacts are expected. Travel could be very difficult. The hazardous conditions could develop during this evening's rush hour and may linger into early Thursday morning. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. Snow accumulations of 4 to 8 inches with locally up to 12 inches in the southern foothills. Where? The southern front range foothills and Castle Rock. When? From 6 p.m. this evening to 8 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Thursday. The following impacts are expected. Travel could be very difficult. The hazardous conditions could develop during this evening's rush hour and may linger into early Thursday morning. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. 
The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. This is a winter storm warning from the National Weather Service. For the following, in Colorado, the southern front range foothills including Idaho Springs and Evergreen, winter storm warning in effect from 3 a.m. Sunday to 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time Monday. What? Freezing drizzle followed by heavy snow. After a light glaze of ice, total snow accumulations will be 8 to 14 inches. Where? The southern front range foothills. When, freezing drizzle is expected early Sunday morning, then snow Sunday through Monday. The heaviest snow will be Sunday night. The following impacts are expected. Travel will be very difficult at time, with the worst conditions Sunday night into Monday morning. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. Rabbit Ears Pass, 
Rocky Mountain National Park and the Medicine Bow Range in the northern and front range foothills. When, snow will develop early Sunday morning, with freezing drizzle for a few hours in the foothills. Snow will continue Sunday through Monday, with the heaviest snow Sunday night. The following impacts are expected, travel could be very difficult, with the worst conditions from Sunday afternoon through Monday morning. The cold wind chills as low as 20 below zero could cause frostbite on exposed skin in as little as 30 minutes. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. This is a winter storm warning from the National Weather Service. For the following, in Colorado, Fort Collins, winter storm warning in effect until noon mountain daylight time Wednesday. What? Heavy snow expected. Total snow accumulations of 5 to 8 inches. Highest amounts from Fort Collins southward. Winds gusting as high as 35 miles per hour with areas of blowing snow near the Wyoming border. Where? Fort Collins. When? Until noon Mountain Daylight Time Wednesday. The following impacts are expected. Travel could be very difficult. The cold wind chills as low as 15 below zero could result in hypothermia if precautions are not taken. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. Office in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio Public Warning System. During potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. The test of this warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you are using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado.
to the area near the test time. The test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you're using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado. This is the National Weather Service office in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio public warning system. During the potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn you of the impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you are using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado. Weather Service in Boulder, Colorado. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio Public Warning System. During potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn of impending danger. This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you are using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of North Central and Northeastern Colorado. from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, the Northern Front Range foothills including Estes Park and Nederlin, the Southern Front Range foothills including Idaho Springs and Evergreen, Fort Collins, Rocky Mountain National Park and the Medicine Bow Range in the mountains of Summit County, the Mosquito Range and the Indian Peaks. Winter storm warning in effect from 8 p.m. Monday to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Tuesday. What? Heavy snow expected. Total snow accumulations of 8 to 14 inches with the highest amounts under the heaviest bands of snow. Where? Rocky Mountain National Park and the Medicine Bow Range, the mountains of Summit County, the Mosquito Range, and the Indian Peaks, the Northern Front Range foothills, the Southern Front Range foothills, and Fort Collins. When? From 8 p.m. Monday to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Tuesday. The following impacts are expected. Travel could be very difficult to nearly impossible across the northern I-25 corridor and from Greeley to Fort Collins and Loveland. The hazardous conditions could impact the Monday evening commute and will impact the Tuesday morning commute. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511.
This is a winter storm warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, Boulder and the western suburbs of Denver, Denver, Castle Rock, Greeley and Byers. Winter storm warning in effect from 8 p.m. Monday to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Tuesday. What? Heavy snow expected. Total snow accumulations of 6 to 12 inches with higher amounts possible under the heaviest snow bands. Winds gusting as high as 35 miles per hour. Where? Portions of East Central and Northeast Colorado. When? From 8 p.m. Monday to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Tuesday. The following impacts are expected. Travel could be very difficult to nearly impossible across the area, especially by Tuesday morning. The hazardous conditions will impact the Tuesday morning commute. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. This is a winter storm warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, Castle Rock and Byers. Blizzard warning in effect until 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time this afternoon. What? Blizzard conditions. Additional snow accumulations of 6 to 9 inches. Winds gusting as high as 45 miles an hour. Where? Northeastern Colorado east of Briggsdale, Wiggins, Bennett, and Castle Rock and north of Lemon. When? Heavy snow is expected this morning with increasing winds. Conditions will improve from west to east this afternoon. The following impacts are expected. Travel could be very difficult or impossible. Road closures are expected and rural roads may become impassable. Areas are blowing and drifting snow will significantly reduce visibility. Travel should be restricted to emergencies only. If you must travel, have a winter survival kit with you. If you get stranded, stay with your vehicle. The latest road conditions can be obtained by calling 511 or visiting www.cotrip.org. This is a blizzard warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, Castle Rock and Byers. Blizzard warning in effect until 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time this afternoon. What? Blizzard conditions. Additional snow accumulations of 6 to 9 inches. Winds gusting as high as 45 miles per hour. Where? Northeastern Colorado east of Briggsdale, Wiggins, Bennett in Castle Rock and north of Lemon. When, heavy snow is expected this morning with increasing winds. Conditions will improve from west to east of this afternoon. The following impacts are expected. Travel could be very difficult or impossible. Road closures are expected and rural roads may become impassable. Areas are blowing and drifting snow will significantly reduce visibility. Travel should be restricted to emergencies only. If you must travel, have a winter survival kit with you. If you get stranded, stay with your vehicle. The latest road conditions can be obtained by calling 511 or visiting www.cotrip.org. Weather Service Office in Boulder. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA All Hazards Radio Public Warning System. During potentially dangerous weather situations, the tone alert will be activated to warn of the impending danger. 
This test of the warning alarm is normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather threatens the area near the test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm may vary at any given location. This variability will normally be more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, even though you are using a high-quality receiver. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all of the North Central and Northeastern Colorado. This is a high wind warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, Fort Collins and Boulder in the western suburbs of Denver. Dense fog advisory remains in effect until 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time this morning. High wind warning in effect from 8 p.m. this evening to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Saturday. What? For the high wind warning, northwest winds 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour expected. For the dense fog advisory, visibility one quarter to one half mile in dense fog. Where? Larimer County below 6,000 feet northwest Welb County and Boulder and Jefferson counties below 6,000 feet west Broomfield County. When? For the high wind warning, from 8 p.m. this evening to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Saturday. For the dense fog advisory, until 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time this morning. The following impacts are expected, for the high wind warning, strong winds will blow around unsecured objects. Tree limbs could be blown down and a few power outages may result. Travel will be difficult for high profile vehicles. For the dense fog advisory, hazardous driving conditions exist due to low visibility. Additional details, some areas with high winds could see lower visibility due to blowing snow. Caution is advised for travelers Friday into Saturday. Strong winds may lead to property damage. Hazardous driving conditions due to powerful cross winds will pose a serious risk for drivers, especially for lightweight and high-profile vehicles. Loose outdoor items should be brought inside or secured properly. If driving, slow down, use your headlights, and leave plenty of distance ahead of you. Warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, the Northern Front Range foothills including Estes Park and Nederland, the Southern Front Range foothills including Idaho Springs and Evergreen, Rocky Mountain National Park and the Medicine Bow Range in the mountains of Summit County, the Mosquito Range in the Indian Peaks. High wind warning in effect from 8 p.m. this evening to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Saturday. What? West winds 35 to 45 miles per hour with gusts up to 80 miles per hour expected. Where? Northern and central mountains and foothills when? From 8 p.m. this evening to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Saturday. The following impacts are expected. Damaging winds will blow down trees and power lines. Widespread power outages are expected. Travel will be difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles. Additional details, some areas with high winds could see lower visibility due to blowing snow. Caution is advised for travelers Friday into Saturday. Strong winds may lead to property damage. Hazardous driving conditions due to powerful cross winds will pose a serious risk for drivers, especially for lightweight and high-profile vehicles. Loose outdoor items should be brought inside or secured properly.
This is a high wind warning from the National Weather Service. For the following locations, in Colorado, Greeley and Byers. High wind warning in effect from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Saturday. What? Northwest winds 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 60 miles per hour expected. Where? Central and South Weld County, Central and East Adams and Arapahoe Counties and North and Northeast Albert County below 6,000 feet North Lincoln County. When? From 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time Saturday. The following impacts are expected for the high wind warning. Strong winds will blow around unsecured objects. Tree limbs could be blown down and a few power outages may result. Travel will be difficult for high-profile vehicles. With the strong winds and snow on the ground, there will be areas of blowing snow and poor visibilities over exposed areas. Strong winds may lead to property damage. Hazardous driving conditions due to powerful cross winds will pose a serious risk for drivers, especially for lightweight and high-profile vehicles. Loose outdoor items should be brought inside or secured properly. Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a snow squall warning for Park County, Summit County, Northwestern Gilpin County, Southern Grand County, Clear Creek County, until 3.30 p.m. At 2.26 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from near Green Mountain Reservoir to 5 miles north of Salida, or along a line extending from 25 miles north of Vail Pass to 5 miles north of Salida, moving east at 35 miles an hour. Hazard, extremely poor visibility in snow and blowing snow. Wind gusts greater than 40 miles an hour. Source, radar and webcams. Impact, dangerous life-threatening travel. This includes Interstate 70 between mile markers 190 and 234. Locations impacted include Jefferson, Breckenridge, Silverthorne, Frisco, Lake George, Fraser, Georgetown, Winter Park, Dillon, Blue River, Fairplay, Empire, Alma, Silver Plume, Burford Pass, Tayreal Reservoir, Loveland Pass, Burford Falls, Guffey and Elevon Mill Canyon Reservoir. Precautionary, preparedness actions, consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways may quickly freeze. Black ice will cause roads, bridges and overpasses to become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction. A snow squall warning remains in effect until 3.30 p.m. for Park, Summit, Northwestern Gilpin, Southern Grand and Clear Creek Counties. At 3.01 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from 11 miles east of Green Mountain Reservoir to 7 miles west of Cripple Creek, or along a line extending from 61 miles west of Denver to 27 miles west of Colorado Springs, moving east at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, extremely poor visibility snow and blowing snow. Wind gusts greater than 40 miles an hour. Source, radar and webcams. Impact, dangerous life-threatening travel. This includes Interstate 70 between mile markers 190 and 234. Locations impacted include Jefferson, Breckenridge, Silverthorne, Frisco, Lake George, Fraser, Georgetown, Winter Park, Dillon, Blue River, Fairplay, Empire, Alma, Silver Plume, Burford Pass, Tayreal Reservoir, Loveland Pass, Burford Falls, Guffey and Elevon Mill Canyon Reservoir. Precautionary, preparedness actions, consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. 
Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways will quickly freeze. Black ice will cause roads, bridges and overpasses to become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction. service in Denver, Colorado has issued a snow squall warning for Northern Park County, Summit County, Southern Grand County, Clear Creek County, Southwestern Jefferson County until 4.30 p.m. At 3.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from 8 miles northwest of Silverthorne to 7 miles southwest of Wellington Lake, or along a line extending from 60 miles east of Glenwood Springs to 42 miles northwest of Colorado Springs, moving northeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, extremely poor visibility in snow and blowing snow. Wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Source, radar and webcams. Impact, expect hazardous road conditions. This includes Interstate 70 between mile markers 190 and 233. Locations impacted include Jefferson, Breckenridge, Silverthorne, Frisco, Georgetown, Dillon, Blue River, Empire, Alma, Silver Plume, Burford Pass, Tayreal Reservoir, Loveland Pass, Burford Falls, Pine Junction, Como, Bakerville, Green Mountain Reservoir, Vale Pass and Keystone. Precautionary, preparedness actions, consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways will quickly freeze. Black ice will cause roads, bridges and overpasses to become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction. A snow squall warning remains in effect until 4.30 p.m. for northeastern Park, Northern Summit, Southern Grand, Clear Creek and southwestern Jefferson counties. At 3.56 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from 10 miles east of Green Mountain Reservoir to near Wellington Lake, or along a line extending from 66 miles east of Glenwood Springs to 34 miles southwest of Denver, moving northeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, extremely poor visibility snow and blowing snow. Wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Source radar and webcams. Impact, expect hazardous road conditions. This includes Interstate 70 between mile markers 206 and 233. Conditions have improved farther south around Hoosier Pass, but poor travel conditions remain. Locations impacted include Silverthorne, Georgetown, Dillon, Empire, Silver Plume, Grant, Highland Park, Burford Pass, Loveland Pass, Shawnee, Burford Falls, Pine Junction, Bakerville, Green Mountain Reservoir, Keystone, Echo Lake, Guanilla Pass, Buffalo Creek, Wellington Lake and Mount Evans. Precautionary, preparedness actions, consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways will quickly freeze. Black ice will cause roads, bridges and overpasses to become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction. The snow squall warning for northeastern park, northern summit, southern Grand and southwestern Jefferson counties is cancelled. The snow squall which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the snow squall warning has been cancelled. 
A snow squall warning remains in effect until 4.30 p.m. for northwestern Clear Creek County. At 4.24 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from 7 miles south of Hot Sulphur Springs to 3 miles northeast of Pine Grove, or along a line extending from 66 miles southwest of Fort Collins to 25 miles southwest of Denver, moving northeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, extremely poor visibility snow and blowing snow. Wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Source, radar and webcams. Impact, expect hazardous road conditions. This includes Interstate 70 between mile markers 220 and 233. Locations impacted include Georgetown, Empire, Silver Plume, Bakerville, Berthet Falls and Berthet Pass. Precautionary, preparedness actions, consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways will quickly freeze. Black ice will cause roads, bridges and overpasses to become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction. The snow squall warning for northwestern Clear Creek County has expired. The snow squall which prompted the warning has weakened slightly and moved out of the area. Therefore, the snow squall warning has been allowed to expire. Drivers should still pay close attention to road conditions as they will vary considerably over the I-70 corridor through the mountains. National Weather Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a snow squall warning for Central Weld County in northeastern Colorado, 
northwestern Morgan County in northeastern Colorado, southeastern Larimer County, until 2.45 p.m. At 1.49 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from 5 miles south of Buckhorn Mountain to near Briggsdale, or along a line extending from 11 miles west of Fort Collins to 27 miles northeast of Greeley, moving southeast at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, heavy snow. Source, radar indicated. Impact, dangerous life-threatening travel. This includes Interstate 25 between mile markers 252 and 274. Locations impacted include Fort Collins, Greeley, Loveland, Windsor, Evans, Johnstown, Milliken, Berthet, Eaton, Severance, LaSalle, Alt, Kersey, Pierce, Tinniff, Purcell, Galton, Gill, Barnesville and Massonville. Precautionary, preparedness actions. Consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways will quickly freeze. Roads, bridges and overpasses to become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction. A snow squall warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. for Central Weld, Northwestern Morgan and Southeastern Larimer Counties. At 2.13 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from Fort Collins to 7 miles east of Briggsdale, or along a line extending from 17 miles west of Greeley to 30 miles northwest of Fort Morgan, moving southeast at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, extremely poor visibility and heavy snow. Source, radar and webcams. Spotters reported visibility as low as 100 yards. Impact, dangerous life-threatening travel. This includes Interstate 25 between mile markers 252 and 269. Locations impacted include Fort Collins, Greeley, Loveland, Windsor, Evans, Johnstown, Milliken, Berthet, Eaton, Severance, LaSalle, Alt, Kersey, Tinniff, Purcell, Galton, Gill, Barnesville, Briggsdale and Lucerne. Precautionary, preparedness actions, consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways will quickly freeze. Roads, bridges and overpasses will become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction. The snow squall warning for Central Weld, Northwestern Morgan and Southeastern Larimer counties will expire at 2.45 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. The snow squall which prompted the warning has exited the area and is covered by a new warning. Therefore, the snow squall warning will be allowed to expire. With reports of over three inches falling in the last hour, some roads may still remain snow covered. The snow squall warning for Central Weld County is canceled. The snow squall which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the snow squall warning has been canceled. A snow squall warning remains in effect until 3.30 p.m. for northeastern Morgan, northeastern Washington and south central Logan counties. At 3.11 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, a dangerous snow squall was located along a line extending from near Jackson Reservoir to 7 miles north of Burdett, or along a line extending from 16 miles northwest of Fort Morgan to 15 miles southeast of Sterling, moving east at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, extremely poor visibility heavy snow. Source, radar indicated. Impact, dangerous life-threatening travel. This includes Interstate 76 between mile markers 87 and 114. Locations impacted include Brush, Hillrose, Pruitt Reservoir, Snyder, Lone Star and Burdett. Precautionary, preparedness actions, 
consider avoiding or delaying travel until the snow squall passes your location. If you must travel, use extra caution and allow extra time. Rapid changes in visibility and slick road conditions may lead to accidents. Wet roadways will quickly freeze. Black ice will cause roads, bridges and overpasses to become slick and dangerous. Slow down and be prepared for sudden loss of traction.